something completely different. Okay, so we have our Game Boy Color. It's missing, like first off, it's missing this panel on the back, but that's something I can deal with. Um, I have to, I'll have to get, get a reprint of that, but no matter which, what game you plug it in, when you when you put you put in it, when you turn it on, you get you get this. So it's like something isn't kicking over. So we got to do some some diagnostic. Same as before, I'll probably go through and just try and grind off some of the some of the rust to clean that up. Let's get it under the microscope and see what we got. Right off the bat, I'm just seeing a bunch of like crud all over the place. This cable is not sitting in here correctly, though I doubt that's what the problem is. I am seeing, like I said, I'm seeing a lot of crud just like on here. So I'm gonna go through, I will get that cleaned off. Don't necessarily think that's having, in fact, that doesn't look good. We'll, we'll give this thing a nice, a nice shellacking. I don't know if this wheel is broken. But I mean, you can see, like there's pretty copious amount of rust on this, but this can be replaced. Rust, rust. Cartridge slot. Cartridge slot, I probably need to do just a little bit of cleanup on. Drop that back in there. This just fell out. Drop that, drop that back in there. Um, like I said, I need to look down into this cartridge slot. Let's see, let's see how it looks. Yeah, that's gonna need a good cleaning. I'm seeing just a little bit of corrosion on two of the pads. So nothing super bad down here. Let's look at the other side of this. Again, like I'm not seeing anything that's super concerning. This is a little bit, yeah, but Again, I'm not seeing anything that's super worrying. Not sure we are, we are out all the way. Everything looks, there is a little bit of corrosion again down here. So we can see just a little bit of something there. That's a dead bug. So let's get rid of that. Again, you can just see that there was like a mess made. And down here, which that can be cleaned up. This probably needs to be replaced. That needs to be cleaned. Our solder joints here look fine. Nothing standing out on here. We do have, let's see, we, actually, what is this? Is this a burn mark? What are you? All right, we'll have to take a look at that. And we need to be very gentle. We have our screen here. You can see there is something going on in this bottom left corner. You can see 
with the microscope you can see all of the pixels we just need to be careful with this it looks like it's starting to delaminate but i know i can order these screens still you can see how bad this was over here that's a that's metal and there's just there's actual rust on it so well we'll see we'll see how how well it goes here so let's switch back over to here we're going to disconnect both corners of this video connector just gently wiggle it up and then we'll also check We will check, keep going back and forth here. We're gonna check these guys. They look mostly fine. Just gently set that into our little container here. And that's all of our screws. So we'll set that in the container as well. And what we're gonna do is we're going to, I'm gonna give this a wash. You can definitely tell this was sitting outside for an extended period of time. All right, well, let's take a look under our microscope. Oh, there we go, we got it nice and shiny. The chip looks generally okay. Only thing that does worry me is like some of these in here, some of the stuff is just just in there and then we're gonna use a dry brush on this get that out of there yeah there's still one pin that I'm a little bit worried about let me see if I can I think it's actually probably going to be fine. But it's that pin all the way on the right over here. So this guy. It's got a little bit of corrosion on it. Other than that, these guys are... These guys are nice. Alright. So... Other thing we need to look at is this. I mean, you can see. I'll put it under. Put it under here so you guys can see it. You can see there's just schmutz all over the place on this thing. We got some of it out. And there's a lot in here, unfortunately stay on top of this switching so we adjusted that cable as well which you can see now it's actually sitting in there correctly i see that on a surprising number of these so i'm i'm inclined to think it's not actually an issue it's just something that happens so that made it much worse now, as you can see, I'm not, get, I'm not getting anything, but that could be a combination of things. Or it could just be a symptom of me physically removing dirt that was, that was bridging connections before. Yeah, I wonder if this screen is just effed. Maybe not. Let's see here. This cable is definitely on its last leg. Oh, look at that. I got it working. I'm trying to figure out how I had audio before. And I need a new front cover for this thing as well. Yeah, the whole thing looks like it was wet at some point. 
Well, let's let's get that out of there. Hmm. So we can replace that. That would be nice. I'm gonna set some of this stuff in just over here for the time being, so we can probably do a more thorough cleaning on this. There's an inner and there's an outer screen on this. All right, so let's flip this over. That and that, that and that. So things I'm looking at right now, the new screen with all that rust. Should be able to see, let me use the restroom real quick and then we're gonna check there's some resistances on stuff. All right. Let's. I don't know how my, my leads always get so Tangled. All right. This should be that's positive. This should be negative. All right. So no change there. So I am seeing that works, so zero. And then as I, as I'm rotating this, you guys can't see that, I'll do that. As I rotate this, so that seems to be working, both of them. Yeah, that one's working. And that one's working. There's a good chance it's just the speaker. Uh, actually, now that I've plugged the screen back in correctly, it looks like it's working fine. I Like, one of the things that I didn't do is I didn't actually bring the connectors down all the way. So we're going to leave this as is for the time being. Put over my little holders thing, holder things. Because like I said, overall, it seems like it's working. I ordered a replacement front, I ordered a replacement screen, a replacement battery cover and replacement uh, battery tiles. So we'll see what's up. Look, my little 3D printed, like I, I 3D printed boxes for my individual proje projects like this. It's working out quite nicely. Next, this came in. Gently open this up. So let's see what we got here. We have new speakers. We have a battery cover, which actually has some melting damage on it. So the only thing that we still have left to do with, with this guy is we are waiting on replacement uh, battery connectors, but in the interim, I should probably look at using some evapo rust. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that, beautiful. And then as far as this is concerned, we should be able to solder to the outside too and then get that up and running again. I, I don't know why I didn't think about this previously, but 
Let me get let me get this out and get this other side soaking. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to remove these metal standoffs and I'm going to get the the rust out of there with some evapo rust, a little bit of evapo rust. I have to remember that I don't have to throw this stuff out. This stuff can be reused again and again and again. We got our battery cover. We have our replacement Game Boy cover screen here, which while not great, is in way better shape than mine. And there is a, a protective screen over it. And we got our replacement speakers. So once we get the last part in, which is the replacement battery terminals, we will dive into this whole hog as part two. We got, we got a couple things to replace today on this. So this cleaned up quite well and it has stayed quite clean. I just need to rebend this spring the way it's supposed to go. So that's fine. We have a we have a new screen to install. So we're gonna get to that. I need to figure out how to get this installed. And we have a new speaker to install. So we got three things to install on this. So let's get to repairing. Okay, first things first, I need to disconnect that. I need to remember. Does this have the... It's a good deal. So I'm going to need to do the same thing I just did on on the station on these two ports we're going to add solder and then we'll get that off of there so i want to do that first i want to get that i want to work my way up in rebuilding this thing how much what what kind of temperature are we thinking here to get this out try like 150 so i guess i'll with 150 and then we'll, we'll kind of go from there yeah i just don't want to like i said i don't want to damage this and i'm gonna be using the hot air station instead of my heat gun because i can't control i can control the temperature of my heat gun but it's not like not very well. Yep, it was like perfect. So 150C seems to be our our lucky number. Good deal. So now you can really see. Look at the color difference on this. Let me go. Let me go scrub this with an actual brush and some soap and some water. All right, so that's on there. We'll get, we'll let that sit. Um, there's a, there is a screen protector on top of this. That's what we're seeing here. That's what all this stuff is. And then I can get that off once I'm done. But that's back on there. Let's start rebuilding that. All right, and we are now done with that side. Move that off. All right. Next, we're going to actually, no, you know what? Before I go any farther, I am going to put this in place. This is our new screen. Hopefully it works. Okay. So I guess first things first, I'm going to remove this. Okay. Let's whip this, whip it back out. All right, let's disconnect. We're gonna disconnect these two wires. Okay, so we're gonna guess here. 
Because this isn't something that I'm actually super familiar with. Well, what's going on here? I'm going to put some, some flux on there. Some flux on there. Going to... Oh, very nice. Hope you enjoy playing that. I haven't I, like I played the last Call of Duty. It's just been a little bit. Let's get that off of there. It's been a while for me since I had played one. Move that out of the way. Cut this off. And same thing on this one. That looks like it's broken. Doesn't it? It looks like it's not even attached to anything. It looks like there's something over the top of it. Let's find out. That was a lot of solder. Like a lot, a lot of solder, all right. So this, we only have one, two traces. On the new one that I have, we have four traces, but I think we should be fine. Okay. All right, that's the new speaker installed. Next, we're gonna hit, and hit these guys. We're gonna do this one. And then we're gonna do that one. Okay, now well, let's, let's be gentle and get this out of here without melting anything. Okay. All right, so now we need to look at my replacements, which are here. I need to remember which way these things were, were in here. There we go. And that's what our finished product looks like. We have two leads. messed up still that could be the cartridge though hmm so we need to check the screen make sure I have it plugged in all the way well, this thing's super duper quiet well I the cartridge was working previously yeah so there it goes yeah, this guy's this guy's seen better days for sure And I'll have to look at the speaker thing. I, I just, I don't think there's enough power going to that speaker to, um, to keep it going. The file data is destroyed. This, this volume is completely maxed. Yeah, all that needed was a good cleaning. Um, let me do the same on this one. I fumbled. Terrible game. 
And the audio does not work on that. Anyways, I wonder if me putting, having both of those wires hooked up would make it louder. Yeah, overall this is looking, this is looking pretty good. People are saying that the, there's a capacitor here that fails regularly. Yeah, this could be bad. Oh, three. Yeah, it's, yeah, I think it's three volts is what I need to have this set for. Yeah. Well, let's check some voltages here. It looks like I'm getting good voltage down here. Just sneak this up here for you guys to see this. Yeah, I wonder if that's if that's not what the problem is. It's one of these capacitors. This is a CGB CPU 05. Although the speaker is working, it's just very, very quiet. And the problem is I have nothing, I don't, like I don't have wired headphones that I keep here. I can try and put like that in there. Yeah, I just don't, not something I've ever needed per se, you know? Let me, like someone suggested I, I just do this, just be careful and see what's, yeah, that's quite dirty. I don't think I have, let's see if this is small enough. All of the Q-tips I have are too large to fit in this hole. Yeah, so it looks like this is my best bet is this guy. Just gotta be very careful. Bridging for ground works a treat. Speaker works through the headphones. The speaker gets muted when they're plugged in. So that will be the next step. They're just very, very quiet. Hmm. So the other thing is the volume potentiometer apparently could be the problem. All right, let's see resistance. So the resistance value of this is changing when I do this. Okay, let's, I guess, let me look around my office to see if I have wired headphones somewhere. Oh, here's this brush I was looking for too. Is the number one thing is exactly what Master said. Plug in headphones. I wonder if I could just plug in speakers. See if that works. Oh yeah, that works a treat. So yeah, that's working fine. So that we know that works. It's just super, super quiet here. So I need to check continuity. Hmm, that could be my problem. No, we're good. Okay, I'm seeing what they're talking about here. So apparently this is, this is one of the sound capacitors. Uh, it's C32. And he just suggested I try something like this video just did. I, mean, I just tried it. No, it's still like basically impossible to hear. Ow. So basically he's saying it's, there's a chance it's one of, it's either this one or this one has failed. 
and to just try cleaning that. And see if there's any like build up on that. And then in here, just trying to get this as clean as possible because the way that this circuit completes is by uh, physically just, um, there's a metal plate just touching it. And overall, this is significantly better than it was. And, and then we'll put this back together. So it's got to be something with those speakers that I just put in because everything else about this is working great because it's super, super quiet, but I can, I can hear it. I mean, you can hear that coming clear as day coming from the, so I got two of them. What do you think there is? Like this is, it says eight ohm, one watt. So it's. It's reading eight ohms. 7.4. I have two of them. Maybe I need to use these the center hookups. So each one of these, it has two sets of hookups. I use the outside ones. Maybe I need to do the inside ones. And that'll in improve it. Or it could be these wires are old and busted. I mean, these wires, you can see these wires are like antique. Yeah, I just, I moved one wire. Let's see, let's see if that has any discernible effect whatsoever. Uh, it had no effect. What are this wire, what are the speakers just bad? Okay. Like that's also a possibility that the speaker is just bad. Yeah, it had no effect. I do, I got another speaker somewhere. I just lost it. There it is. Let's pull these wires off and see what happens. If I put it on, if I use this other speaker. Yeah, I might, I might need to, uh, that might be a, like something I need to do, to, need to do is just, is replace those, um, those wires. Uh, same thing. Yeah, it's exactly the same. I'm getting the same general continuity across this thing. One point seven volts. One point seven. So I'm getting point eight ohms of resistance. Across one of the wires. The other one I'm getting point three. So there you go. I'm gonna put this here, you guys can see it. Shouldn't be getting any like resistance along a wire, right? That's generally how that works as far as I know. So we're getting about three ohms, four ohms of resistance across this thing. It's a much longer run. I don't know, I'm at a loss. Oh, I've gotten everything else working about this. I have a feeling that there's a lot of like crud and corrosion inside of here which definitely could be leading to my problem. Now that I understand exactly how this works, one end of this, of this speaker wire upload. So the way this works is one end of this speaker wire goes to ground. The other end goes through this little like friction plate 
Because everything coming out of this, like, out of this speaker is fine. Or out of the headphone jack is fine. I mean, you can hear it, it's just... Like, everything is there. I mean, and it gets actually loud. It's just the onboard speaker that does not. So I just need a hundred microfarad capacitor to put on here. And people are saying that that would probably fix the issue. But my question is where the hell do I get a hundred microfarad capacitor from? Uh, I can try and find a surface mount that looks like this that says 100 on it too. All right, so what they're saying I need to replace is this. I mean, granted, it doesn't really look that good, does it? So they're saying replace that. So that's, what, what it's a 104S. I have this one, which is a, this is for C38. There's a good chance it'll still make contact. Yeah, I think we're gonna be okay. This is the last thing I'm doing on this thing, and then I'm moving on. And I've said that multiple times. What about height though? The height shouldn't be a problem where it is because where that's sitting, the width might be a problem. Only one way to find out. Only one way to find out. Apparently what I'm doing is uh, super sketch because I'm doing this on the board while it's still screwed in. Clean this up. All right, moment of truth. Ooh, that's not gonna clear. I gotta move this thing basically right to the edge. Nope, don't do that, Chris. Don't be an idiot. All right, I started melting support plastic. Don't be like me. That could have been very bad. And the question is if we have continuity across there now. Oh yeah. That fit on that like a charm. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what it was. Here, listen. Boom. Got it. GG. So that's it. There we go. We have sound. And then last, but certainly not least, All done. There you go. Fully restored. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked that video, make sure you hit the like button. 
If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I stream daily on Twitch at twitch.tv slash specvengeance. And uh, yeah, if you want to learn more about my services, check out BradentonPCRepair.com. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.